<laughs> well, according to Puxatani <laughs> Phil, we're in for six more weeks of winter, but what did Groundhog Jimmy have to say? We have Storm Team 4 meteorologist Brian Niznanski. He traveled all the way to Sun what? Prairie wow. to relay Wisconsin's very own Groundhog's prediction. Now, Punxsutawney Phil may get most of the attention nationally, but don't tell that to the fine folks here in Sun Prairie. This suburban Madison community has been trusting their beloved rodent for 69 years. I think Phil's overrated, honestly. Jimmy is super awesome. <laughs> Punxsutawney Phil has been documented at only a 39% accuracy rating, way behind the supposed accuracy of Jimmy. The official party line is Jimmy's 100% accurate. The only problem occurs when if the mayor does not quite translate his prognostication correctly. Jimmy's claim to fame didn't come until a couple years ago when he decided to have a little morning snack. I wonder if the mayor translated that correctly. This time around with clear skies overhead and the sun on the horizon, Jimmy made his important prognostication safely from his cage by seeing his shadow just as his rival did earlier in the morning. With all the, the divisiveness I think that the country's dealing with, it's nice to see a little solidarity uh, <laughs> behind something for once. So we're excited that there's a, some consistency between both groundhogs this year. Now when you think about it, these prognostications aren't really catered to us here in Wisconsin. An early spring in the middle of February is quite frankly too good to be true and six more weeks of winter bring springtime in the middle of March, which doesn't seem that bad after all either. In Sun Prairie, Brian Isnanski, today's TMJ4.